Hello, 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 chickens. Hello, chickens, chicken. Hello, Bob. P.S. Chicken. Hello, everyone. My name is ASTF. Welcome back to Slime Rancher. And we are exactly where we are uh, when we left off in the last episode. I just went inside because there was a new email when I opened up the game from Ogden Ortiz. The name's Ogden Ortiz. I'm a slime rancher much like yourself, but I mostly fancy myself as a farmer. Came to the far, far range to grow fruits and veggies the way we used to grow back on Earth by getting down into the soil and getting your hands dirty. Used to down on Earth, interesting. Did you know that carrots can improve your night vision? Yeah, seriously, they do. I don't see why all ranchers aren't just gobbling them down every chance they get. Being lost out on the range at night can be so dangerous. Well, don't let me ramble on you here. We'll be in touch via the range exchange. I tend only to raise slimes that eat fruits and veggies, so expect those kinds of requests from me. Looking forward to doing business with you. Oh, oh. Ogden Ortiz. P.S. Ever heard of Gilded Ginger? It's a mythical veggie that's said to be the favorite fruit of the equally mythical gold slime. But some say that neither of them actually exist. All right, well, let's sleep in some morning so we get a nice fresh start and then we'll kick off the day. How you doing, Yoshi? How you doing, Leviathan? Good to have you around. Our slimes are happy. Our fruits and veggies are growing. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Beautiful. Okay. Don't know why our Q berries are growing more than our... Uh, Oh wait, that's is that the right food? That's the wrong food. These guys get the heartbeats, the other guys get the key berries. Maybe it's a root vegetable thing. Wow, look at all those plorts. We're gonna be rich. We're gonna be rich. Although if there's more than 20, I'm gonna have issues. Oh, exactly 20. That's what you like to see. How is everybody? It is a fine Tuesday when we're recording and streaming. Oh wait, there's a hungry guy! Why are you hungry? You're supposed to be on auto-feed! Aww. Alright, maybe we need to ramp this up to medium speed as well. There we go. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, he got left out of all the food. I think he can eat one more, actually. Let's, let's give him... Oh. Alright, I'll come back to that in a second. We'll just sell all these. Then life's good. Then we can upgrade our... Farms. The whole thing is a farm! Okay, then we can upgrade our other stuff. Auto feeders for you are always either too fast or too slow. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel too. Okay, there's one guy that has a non-open mouth smiley face. There he is. He was the one whose ports we were missing. And now we got him. Okay, so on the agenda today... Let's, uh... Can I hit it from here? Oh yeah, I can. What we call pro gamer skills. Let's see what mission we have today. Ogden Ortiz, I'm working on a new recipe. Help me out. <laughs> I love his big... His suspenders and his big old smile and his little mustache. I love it. Yes, I'll help you out. Carrots and heartbeats, huh? Alright, let me go get some carrots, and then... That's an easy quest. How many did he need? Four? Perfect. And we have heartbeats in the auto-feeder. Yeah, the reason I like the auto-feeder is because... No, oh, I'm just used drones. Yeah, that that's true. That's kind of endgame, though. Um, I think the auto-feeder is nice because then the food doesn't get old. But if you have drones, then the food doesn't get old, so... We needed seven heartbeats, I think? Six. Alright! Get some free plorts there. Launch that back in the container. Okay, oh, I missed. I... my bad. I wasn't even aiming at the right spot. That was terrible. I wouldn't mind getting a mod that just gives free um, free drone creation resources, because then we can automate and stuff without having to go through the whole uh, the whole thing. Okay, we got to get some water to fill up, and I think we can upgrade these. Now there is a music box upgrade for these that keeps the slimes calm, but we're feeding them regularly, so they should never be agitated. 
So as long as we have the net and the solar upgrade for ones that need the solar shield, then uh, it's pretty much fully upgraded. So no need to waste it. Same thing with the scare slimes. We don't need to keep tars out because we're keeping a really good... Uh, we're not going to mix the slimes in the containers and they don't have a chance of escaping. So we'll do nutrient soil though because that helps us grow things faster. And then we will head out. Now, I think what I'd like to do... I think I'd like to start a coop. Because it's nice to be able to have all the different kinds of food. So we'll get a hen hen. Now we need to go get a roostero for that. So keep your eyes out for hens and roostros before the slimes eat them all. Oh, he's hungry. Here, have a carrot, little guy. There you go. Yeah, there- Oh, no, it's not so hungry. They're all eating. There's food, there's food. Go get the food. Go, go, go. Love the little slimes. They're so cute. Okay, there's also... There's hens up here. I don't see a rooster anywhere. There's usually a rooster. Well, there's a chickadoo. I guess we can suck up the chicks too, because they'll grow up. Maybe they'll be a rooster. The chicks are nice because they don't get eaten. Like the hen. Oh, a rooster. Perfect. We needed at least one rooster, so that works for me. Let's go get some water, because we got that water tank upgrade at the end of the last session. Beautiful. Okay, and I'm still on the hunt for, um, if I could get some stony hens, too. Best way to get chickens is unlock the overgrowth part of the ranch, because they spawn naturally. Oh, that's true. I forgot about that. Yeah. Let's see if we can get some stony hens, though. Wow, all the chickadees spawned. I think stony hens are up on top of this, right? No? Guess not. Oh, a stony chickadee. Okay, that's what I wanted. They're so cute. They're so cute. Oh! Hi, slime! He just wanted to go swimming. I had a great big tree like this here, one along the edge of my property back on Earth. It had been there before anyone could remember. It survived all kinds of change around it, and then one day it began, I began to notice it was dying. It wasn't anything unnatural, it just was its time, I suppose. And then I realized that if I didn't do something, I'd end up like that tree. I'd spend my whole life in the same place. I wasn't gonna let that happen, so I bought a ticket for the far, far range the very next day. What's up, Hollow? Welcome! Treasure pod is locked. We don't have what it takes to unlock those yet. I don't think I'm missing any, right? Okay. Then we can head back. Oh, that way's locked. Uh, but there might be stony hens up here. You know what? There's a lot more stony hens than stony chicks. So I'm gonna take the hens back. Dead? Bong. Okay, cool. There's a- ooh, Mochi Miles! Alright, Mochi, let's see what you got for us in the email thread. How you doing, Hollow? Welcome, welcome. We can, uh... We can get that going pretty quick, 1750. Oh, avoided that guy. I love the slime noises, they're so cute! Woo! And the stamina upgrade and the boots that reduce consumption for running is so nice. I want to try to buy all the personal upgrades as soon as they come out. Because that'll help us get around faster. Okay, let's read the email first before we do anything. Much mouse, well, well, it seems like another wannabe rancher has signed up for a lonely existence on a faraway space rock. <laughs> Congrats, Beatrix. I'm Mochi Miles. That's Miles as in Tatsuya Miles, the billionaire. I'm here to do important business for my dad, but that doesn't mean I won't make all the rest of these backwater types out here look bad in the process. No one conquers the port market like I do, day in, day out. My dad gives me the inside track, so look forward to my requesting plorts that I know will make me huge profits later on. So I wish you the best of luck, Beatrix. Maybe you'll even reach second place. And at the very least, you can tell your friends that you helped out the great Mochi Miles in her conquest of the far, far range. Later, Tater. Mochi Miles, top rancher. There's always somebody that has to be the best, right? 
Oh, there's gonna be so many chickens in here. This is gonna be the biggest coop you've ever seen. Beautiful. Look at all those chickens. Look at all these chickens! Okay, let's see. Is this gonna be for Mochi? Mochi Miles. I need these plorts. Post haste! Whatever that means. Uh, okay, that's easy. Do I have those on hand? I do. Bigger than uh, LTD's coop in the last MC server? No. I don't think any coop will be as big as that coop. Well, if I put two of these together, there might be as many chickens. I don't know. Okay, before I sell these, let me trade them to Mochi. You oh, look at all these chickens. Now it's as big as LTD's chicken coop in the last server. Extra rooster. Get in there. Okay. I might separate the stony ones from the regular ones now and have another coop, but that we could do that later. Okay, let's upgrade this to the nutrient soil. High walls is nice. Keep the slimes out, but we don't have problems with slimes. Spring grass attracts scuttle bugs that chickens love to eat. They will produce eggs twice as fast. They will grow into healthy hens and roosters twice as fast. So I think the grass is the first one we need to upgrade. Because then they'll have lots of food in there. Yeah, you can see all the grubs. All the grubs running around now. Okay, well, we kind of have a wide open uh, kind of whatever we want to do is what we can do. Maybe I'll take some of these chickens out to the Largo, Largo Tabby. I know we just brought them all back here. But we don't, we don't need this many. Because we'll have a lot soon, so. Let's take 20 of them out there. And then we'll be good. You're good, it's really hot today. It is getting hot. So I know you just moved recently, right? Where'd you, where'd you plop down at? And we can go through there? Or we can go... To the overgrowth. I don't know which one's better to unlock first. Uh, there's Largos in either side, I suppose, so. Okay. I had a goal to get out to here with some chickens. Oh, you haven't moved yet, you're getting ready to. Wow, you packed up uh, really fast the, the PC. So, every time I hear a scuttlebug, I get reminded to watch for rolling rocks in 0.5 of A presses. Wow, he uh, is gonna eat a lot of meat there. Heartbeat? We don't need a heartbeat. That guy's gonna eat a lot of meat. It is nice to have that open, but we don't really need it, so... Let's go ahead and go back home, pick up some Q-berries. There is another Gordo that we can open up. I know, I know all the secret Gordo places. Actually, I don't know all of them. I feel like I'm missing some, which is fine. So... 98, feeling like 106. Oh, sheesh. Yeah, when do you, when do you move? 98 feels like 106. That's brutal. It was like 80 something the other day. Actually, it was 101. Humidity 26%, and it was brutal. Okay, we need to. These these harvest all pretty quick now. So we can get the the heartbeats going. We can get the Q-berries going. Okay, we probably need all the Q-berries. So, let me grab this. If we take 20, we should be good, actually. Yeah, then they won't be out of food. They're not hungry because they just ate. And it's getting to be kind of late, so let me go get this phosphor one. Oh, no fun, Arizona weather. How does anyone currently survive in Arizona, really, though? Okay. 
Okay, there's all kinds of hidden stuff in this game, which I love. Like this little, this little behind the scenes section over here. And the behind the scenes, behind the scenes section down here. Which is not where I thought I would be. Um, but we have one of these. Some fruits, some veggies. So there's heartbeats in abundance down here. What I'm looking for though is a little cave. And now that I think about it, the cave is not down here. It's it's somewhere else. So this is why I didn't want to jump down here before without the jetpack. Wow, that guy got launched. Is it there? No. Dude, he was flying. Now they say it's dangerous out here at night, but it's not really that dangerous. So what's up, nerdy gamer gal? Hello, hello. A lot of air conditioning and ice cold water bottles. What's up, Bjorn? Welcome. Hello, hello. I think it's over here. Yes, it's down here. Yes, and his favorite thing is Q-berries, so it should pop him double fast. It's either 15. Oh. Oh, he ended up eating it. I think it's 20. Oh, we need even more? Oh, we need five more. Maybe we can just get some regular fruits going. Now this section's always dangerous, it doesn't matter if it's day or night. So I'm just gonna sprint through it. We got more stony hens too, we could take to the uh, the tabby gordo. I might end up staying up all night tonight. These are all the stony chicks that we left over here last time. But we need five more cuberries. I know there's some that grow over here. What a jump. He's close. He needs five more stony hens or ten more any kind of hen. Um, there's one Q-berry. We might need to go back to the ranch to pick up more. Which is okay, I suppose. It's it's pretty close. Okay, these guys are angry. We have four! I think we need any kind of fruit. So, we'll pick up some pogo fruit on the way back to, um... Oh, he's hungry. I just, I just gave away all my, uh, stony hens. It's his favorite kind of food. Um, does it rain? And if it does rain, is it boiling? Oh my goodness. If you can sprint from your car to your freezer in 10 seconds so it doesn't evaporate, oh, you, then you can eat ice cream in Arizona. That's awesome. Um, all the pogo fruit might be gone, actually. Oh no, we have so much fruit. Okay. This is totally fine. Okay, so then we can go back down over here. And we can feed the rest of this phosphor gordo. Lar Largo? Gordo. Gordo, yeah. Yeah. The last one? Oh, there we go! Hi, little phosphor guys! And we got another key. So that was important. Okay, you guys can have fun. Oh, roostro! No, don't eat the roostro! But I'll tell you what, this carrot is just for you. Come on, you could do it! You're a munch on the carrot! There you go! There you go. Good job. Good job, little guy. Is there another chest over here? There is. Whoa, okay. Alright. Well, we can go back now, and we can sleep for the rest of the night. These guys might already be out, which is kind of dangerous, but we got lucky. Can't believe the United States has taken a part of the sun because of Arizona. It's living on the surface of the sun. Do we need another Roostro? Yeah, we do. I was gonna try to feed it to the tabby guy, but we'd need 10. So we'll just head home. That'll be okay for now. And then tomorrow we can open up one of the new areas because we should have enough for more, um, more plots, at least one more. No one tell Leviathan about Death Valley. Yeah, that's true. And the United States took a part of Canada? We took a part of Canada? You'd think I would know this.
There you go. Be happy. Be happy. Okay, I don't need these extra fruits. Get out of here, extra fruits. They all went into the ocean. As they should. Okay, sleep until morning. Now, there's a manage DLC button. I don't think I have any. Yeah, I don't have it. That's okay, though. We don't need the secret style pack for now. Everyone knows Death Valley is the core of the sun. It really is. It's so hot there. Like, that and Blythe, California are so hot. Okay, heartbeats go in this one. Key berries go in the other one. What I want to do is make them in twos. So we have a garden plot next to a, a ranch plot. And I think that'll allow me to automate easier, because I can say pick up from here and put in there. I think. Could be wrong on that one. I could always be wrong. Unfortunately, we have upgraded our carrying capacity to 30, so part of Canada the, the United States took is Alaska. Now, you say took, but I mean, was there a deal cut? Pretty sure there was a deal cut for Alaska. When I hear took, I think, like, we just said, this is ours now, and there's nothing you can do about it. And Canada was like, alright, that's fine. Wonder what the hottest section of the world is. Transporter? Very cool. Okay, I think we have enough for some more now. So... Let's make a plot here. Just to make sure we have enough. And let's make a farm here. Garden here. Okay. And then let's grab, let's do high walls, air net. Okay, so now we can store them. We don't need the auto feeder and everything. But let's go adventure into the new zone. We got two keys, we can open up two new zones, but we're not gonna have enough time for that. So we got everything done on the farm that we needed to. We're able to head out now into the next zone. And then we're going to need to unlock stuff. So I want to go to this one because it's close. Okay, let's see what this guy has to say. This entire cave system was sealed off from a cave-in when I first discovered it. Maybe that's why the fellas up ahead are so grumpy. Haven't had a bite in a long time. In any case, don't let that long awaited bite come from your own rump. Bring some food to calm them down. Or we can run real quick. Oh, I love the atmosphere in here, though. There's water! Oh, they're angry. Oh, they're angry! Oh, he's angry! I love how these doors open, too. Very, very cool. Okay, this is the quarry, the indigo quarry. Yahoo! Mine, all mine. I was always happiest when I was by my lonesome. Places like this old quarry really suited me. Nice and quiet, mostly empty. So I figured the life on the far, far range would suit me just as well. And well, wouldn't you just know it? I come all this way, and the first person I see... Well, she changed how I saw things, I guess. Quiet wasn't good anymore. I liked her laugh. Aww, H. H is gonna fall in love. Okay, so there's magma. I want a magma slime. Or three. A boom slime. Sorry, not a magma slime. That's one of the new slimes in this zone. Oh, there's a Gordo. A veggie Gordo. Which we can pop him real easy. Because we have heartbeats growing at home. Oh, the map. Perfect. Okay, cool. So we got the map. I think I need to go up there. So let me get up there real quick. Oh. Nothing special. I feel like a ninja perched up here. Oh, come on. There you go. There's a height limit to how much height you can gain while using the jetpack. At least the unupgraded jetpack. Okay, and here's the rad slimes. I want a couple of them. Come here, little rad slime. 
Now the rad slimes like odd onions. Which it's kind of hard to grow odd onions. So maybe I'll combine them with something different. Oka Oka, I believe. Let me see what the Slimepedia says. Oh, favorite food is Oka Oka for rad slimes. Perfect. So that's easy. We'll do rad... Where did that guy come from? He just popped out of the ground and yeeted himself off the edge. So we need one more rad or boom slime to be able to take home and have five of the uh, large ones. Cool. Got that sorted. Oh, this is cool. I don't know that I've ever been down here in these caves. Does anyone actually like the United States? Oh, I've never seen that guy. Wow. Okay, so we'll grow some Oka Oka and then we can come back to him. That's cool. I like living in the US. Everyone in Canada hates the United States. Oh, that looks like an odd onion. I guess it grows in... Um, yeah, I, I don't trust my jetpack level 1 to be able to fly all the way that far. Why do you guys hate people from the United States? Or rather, hate the United States. I'm not gonna assume you hate people from the United States. Alright, oh, I, I love this area. It's so soothing. Ugh, just surrounded by big quarries. I bet you can get up there somehow. I bet there's secrets around here. You think? It's all with secrets. Popular to hate the US, but we are in a good Oh there there's an odd uh, an odd onion. So I think they grow randomly in beetroot uh beet heartbeat areas. And that takes us back to our range. There we go. So we'll get the rad slimes going. And we have to plant the oka oka. Now the boom slimes like, what are they like? Briar hens, we don't have any briar hens. We have regular hens though, and we have three boom slimes. So let's grab three hens. And then we could feed them, get some plorts, um, so that we can, can upgrade those uh, green guys. And then let's get more hens so we could feed them as well. And then I think they should, all but one should be fully upgraded at that point. Because they were hungry. The big guys now are hungry. And now they eat meat. They didn't before, but now they do. Oh, they're both, uh, they're both happy now. Okay, so I'll leave that chicken in there. It's going to be a radiated chicken. It's kind of important to keep these guys happy, otherwise they'll blow each other up out of the net. The air net is not like a perfect um, solution. If too many slimes hit it, it'll disappear. Um, but I think these two should allow me to upgrade that garden with the Oka Oka. To grow faster, because we're going to need some food for this. Oh no, we need the sprinkler. Well, we'll do the soil so we get twice as much, and then maybe we can farm some of these. And then maybe get enough. These ones, these are uh, getting cheaper though, because there's so many on the market now. We've killed the economy. Oh. Yeah. See, he's he's already jumping around. All right, let's get this guy sorted. Yes. Okay. Perfect. That's just enough to get the Oka Oka going. With the sprinkler. Beautiful. Grab this boom plort. I don't want to end the day because we started selling boom plorts, so they're going to get less expensive by uh, tomorrow already. So. And there's crystal slimes. I love the crystal slimes. I'm going to do crystal and honey together. Tank booster MK2. Allow you to have 40 units. It costs 500 though. Okay. Well, we'll get the Oka Oka going. I'm going to sleep so that that grows, because we've done all the ranch stuff. Two new star mail, too. Bob, hello. Hello, 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 chickens. Hello, chickens, chicken. Hello, Bob. P.S. Chicken. 
7Z Corporation, Miss LeBeau, the 7Z Corporation would like to extend a very special offer to you, an invitation to the very exclusive, exceptionally choice, highly sought after 7Z Rewards Club. 7Z Rewards Club allows you to earn ultra premium ranks within an exclusive club for only a semi-ultra premium price. It's just that easy. Each rank grants you a new club title along with unique rewards such as beautiful upgrades for your ranch, exclusive customization options, and more. We look forward to your enrollment. The 7Z Corporation offering you a path to greatness, one large sum of new bucks at a time. The 7Z Corporation. So, yeah. Uh, people in Canada hate the United States because of guns and oil and big military. Yeah. Bob really do want some chicken wings. If there is a Chick-fil-A here, Bob will be all over that. But let's uh, sleep until morning. We're an initiate and we get a rooster or a weather van if we spend 750 new bucks. That's a lot of new bucks. Okay, they're gonna be hungry, but the Oka Okas are all done, done growing. Wow, that's a lot of Oka Okas. 25 Oka Oka. Okay, we feed the big guys. Oh, he jumped. He dodged the food. They're double hungry. A lot of them are. Ow. That's a lot of plorts for me, though. That's a lot of plorts, man. Oh, you get back in there. You're dangerous. Oh, he really likes to come outside the cage. Guess I would if I was in a cage. The little dazed look on his face. I have a lot of radiation poisoning. This guy, this guy needs a plort collector. Okay. Oh, yes. Give me that money. Give me that money. Oh, yeah. 2K monies. Okay, we're gonna do solar, uh, we're gonna do plort collector and auto feeder. Oh, he, did he expand his zone? I feel like that guy has a bigger bubble than the other guys. Maybe it's just a perspective thing. No, it's definitely bigger. Nah, it's just a perspective thing. Alright. Oh, the plort collector's on this side. Okay. We can plant these guys in here. Okay, cool. So those guys are sorted. Let's do some maintenance on these guys now. It's already out of food. Why did we only grow 15 heartbeats? Have we upgraded this all the way? We have. Okay, that's weird. Maybe it just wasn't a good day for the heartbeats. If rad slimes get- oh, hungry, the zone gets bigger. Interesting. They got their heartbeats. You guys get your Q-berries. Star mail from Casey. Alright, let's sell these ports. You know what I think we need is just more slimes in, that, in, in these ones. I think if we had one or two more slimes, then they'd eat the food at the right rate. So I'll get another couple of pink slimes for this one. And then I'll get another couple of tabby slimes for that one, and then I'll have to go get some boom slimes for the, the last one. It's okay, though. Alright, just doing a little bit of farm maintenance, that's all. Art module MK2. I think I'm gonna get the music box for the boom slimes, too, so they don't explode as much. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. They can keep exploding, that's fine. Power Core MK2. Okay, let's see what that mail was from Casey. I got your mail, of course I remember that day. Uh, I feel like 
That was when you and I really connected. It was raining so hard that the sh streets were flooding and we took shelter in the cafe. It was like a scene from a movie only. We both looked like wet animals and the guy running the shop was a real tyrant. The only way we could stay inside was by ordering one coffee after another. Felt like we learned more each other about each other that day than ever. Maybe it was just, maybe it was the coffee because we were both talking really, really fast. I told you about my dreams, making music and all that. At least that's how I remember it. Walking home when the rain came back, you got closer to me and my heart was racing, but I couldn't blame that on the coffee. Oh, Casey. Oh, that's so sappy. Okay, tank booster, absolutely. Power core, absolutely. Health, we don't really need, but might as well. Was that another upgrade? No, we already got them all. Okay, let's see who we can help out. Chicken, chickens. Mm-hmm, Bob, you're definitely not a lot of slimes stacked on top of each other. Uh, I need to take a screenshot of this. This is amazing. Mode, window snip. Save that into... I guess desktop is fine. Yeah, then I won't lose it. Uh-huh, okay, six chickens, six hens, and four stony hens. Um, we need to get the one for more eggs for this guy. Because I'm running low on chickens. Okay. Bob, there you go. Oh my goodness, his face is in the little thing too. Actually, that was a pretty good reward. Because if we didn't pick up any Oka Oka, we would have had a hard time grabbing all that. Okay, we don't need this. The Oka Oka is nice though. We can throw it in here. Let's feed him. Ow. Oh, I thought it was a manual feed, but that's not how it works. Okay, we can sell these pink plorts. We can take a lot of Oka Okas down to... We need 25 Oka Okas. So once we get 25 Oka Okas saved up, then we can take them to... Oh, we have 24, we're close. But this patch hasn't grown yet. It's almost done growing. We could go explode that Gordo, the, the rad Gordo. Or... We can go get a couple more slimes. We need two pinks and two tabbies. And we still need to explode the Largo tabby. The Gordo tabby. Get those confused. The pink slimes are going to turn into pink rock slimes. You can't escape from me, chickens. I have a Gordo to pop. Oh, we can go over this. That's fun. I love walking in the ways that they don't really like anticipate because there's just like so, so many secrets around. Okay, we need two tabbies. Come here, tabby. Come here, tabby. Okay, here you go. We need six. Five? No, we need more? I didn't expect we would need any more. Well, that's trouble. Because <laughs> we don't have any more. This Gordo's very useless. It's a teleporter, right? Back to the start. Oh, we have more chickens on that side. I'm gonna go fetch those chickens. Here. I love going up on these heights. It's so fun. Oh, I almost, almost died. I forgot to jump. 
Oops. Don't need that port. Okay, hopefully four will do it. No, it's not done yet. Or Are there any more chickens anywhere? Is there a nest over here? I need some chickens. No, that's the next area we'll get into, though. Alright, we ran out of chickens. Couldn't quite get this Gordo popped. Next time, though. Oh, look at the birds. That's cool. Okay. Oh, you know what? There might be some... Um... I just, like, bounced off of that guy's head. There might be some back here. And they would be stony hens if they are. Yeah, okay, this should be enough for sure. Because this is the equivalent of 10 hen hens, and he looks like he's almost ready to pop already. So, there's chickens back at the base. That's true. I could have gone back to the base. Alright, here you go, you big gordo. Oh, we were pretty close. I'll bring these guys back to base, though. Wow, that's a lot. Um, I'll bring these guys back to base. We've been trading a lot of our... Oh, this goes to this side of the base. Well, that's a problem, because we haven't unlocked this yet. Hmm. <laughs> we haven't unlocked that side of the base yet, so... Alright. I'll run back this way. That's fine. I forgot that teleports back and forth. So we'll have to prioritize unlocking that side of the base. If we do one more night, we should have enough uh, enough ports to sell to unlock that side. Our capacity of 40 is really nice too. I love having 40 available. I wish there were more upgrades to this booster. Like, I think there's only ever four slots plus the water one. I saw Leviathan, your screenshot for the mods. Looks pretty interesting. Oh, what do you need? Oh, we could choose. Well, Thora, we didn't help the first time. Up too late last night, need a few things. Five booms and 10 phosphors. I don't think we're gonna get those today. But we can save it today and then go pick them up tomorrow. Okay. We need these to go in here, and we need these to go in here, and I need- that means I need two Phosphor Quartz. And we'll give one to you, bonk, and we'll give one to... Did he already eat one? There he is, whoop, bonk. Okay, they're good, and we need two of these. One for you, one for you. Beautiful. Wow, they're already eating so much. It's like I can't keep up, even with a max efficiency farm. Maybe the Oka Oka's done too. No, not quite. But we got lots of, uh, lots of ports here. So we need a couple more boom slimes anyways. And it's about to be night, so we can get some Phosphor Slimes going, too. Before these lose all their value, might as well sell it. I think we can open this up now, too. Yeah. This was- the teleporter we got was on the other side of this. Oh, that one's not active yet. It was on the other side of this, and so we unlocked it, but, like, we couldn't access it. So... I built this area myself by spreading soil from the moss blanket all over the ground just to see what would happen. I was hoping it would attract a hunter slime or two, but no such luck. Maybe I need to get some of them big mushrooms to grow here instead. They sure seem to like hanging out around those things. That goes to the teleporter we just unlocked. Um, and this is more room for uh, different kinds of slimes too, so... And hen hens spawn here naturally. This is a nice little area. I like this zone. Uh, we do need to go get some boom slimes. I think the fastest way is to run from this side. 
I think there's a teleporter, but we gotta unlock it. Maybe it's where that rad slime is. The big Gordo rad slime. Did I need to bring anything with me? No, I need phosphor slimes. And I need uh, boom slimes. That's that's what I'm here to get. Sorry guys, I didn't bring any food for you this time either. Oh, I know you're angry. You guys could leave the tunnel. You're phosphor slime, so it's dangerous outside though in the day. Okay, yeah, there's phosphor and boom in this area. So long as they don't eat each other. Ow. We needed 10 of these things, right? Oh, we needed 10 phosphors. I just didn't want them all eating each other. Like they're already doing. Okay, we got 10 phosphors. Let's grab some more booms because we need some too. Okay, I think that's it. We can put these guys back now. Alright, you guys are chilling. Angie slimes, I know, they're just hungry. Now where was this, uh, where was this portal? What's the fastest way back to it? This way? Not really. Don't explode on me. I don't remember how many booms we needed. Um, but we, I guess we can take a rad back. If we take two rads, then we should have enough for the booms and rads. So, cool. Oh, puddle slimes! I forgot about puddle slimes! I want to take a couple of these guys. Are there any more? Mr. Puddles? Ah, oh, looks like that's it. Five boom slimes? Okay, then we definitely have enough. Yeah, I remembered it was either like five or two, but I wasn't sure, so... Oh, I definitely left before I looked that time. I think this is the way back. Could be wrong though. Oh, this is dangerous. Yeah, okay, that sign could have been useful. Um, yeah, it's over this way. Oh, ooh, great. Abby and some Oka Oka. I remember the game was really hard to get. Uh, the slimes are like Big Ruck, Angie. So many Brad slimes. Oh, another crate. I haven't gotten any crate ornaments yet. I guess that's okay. Okay, I need to make a... Pond? Oh, it needs 450. Okay, that's fine. We should get enough from Thora. Yeah, it was five. Beautiful. Okay, I don't need this boom slime. To the ocean with ya. You will be one with nature. Don't worry, it doesn't hurt. And then they eventually show up somewhere else. Okay, we need that. We need to turn them into rad booms so that I could feed them. Oh, wait. I guess we could have fed them as they were. Can I put these back? No, of course not. That would be silly. Ow. 25 damage. That's a lot of damage. Need some flex seal over here. Boom and rad or brad. Okay, so we can pick up these plorts and sell them now. Oh, Thora, thanks for the plorts. I appreciate it. I wonder if you can get plorts like that um, before you unlock the area. Okay, now we have enough for a puddle. Yeah! Oh, I'm gonna splash him. Splash, splash. Love the puddle slimes. Look at the pond. It's so cool. Are there any upgrades to the pond? Nah, no, just demolish. 
puddle slimes are cool. If you put too many in a pond, they get shy, and then they don't produce plorts, because they don't like pooping in groups. That's pretty sure that's the reason in there. Okay, let's do high walls here. Get the chickens with the lights. Oh, I like how this is shaping up. This is so nice. We can deal with these now, before the morning. There's a bigger pond at the docks. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's a natural pond, too. Oh, wow, there's so many heartbeats in there. Maybe I'll change it to slow for a night. See yeah, how that works out. There's so many in there. Let me just clean them up. Because we have seven in there now. Oh, I gotta, um... Yeah, I gotta go build these first. We'll see if seven can consume the normal speed. Oh, we're making money. We're making damn money. Beautiful. Now let's clean up all of the extra foods in here. Hi, guys. Oh, hi, guys. I need to upgrade the 7Z rewards to a certain point, too. Some of you will know why. But I'm not gonna spoil it here. Ow. Okay, let's uh, activate this so I'm not sucking up the ports, because I'm just here for the heartbeats. Yeah, there were 12 extra in there. No, don't spoil it! No! No, don't spoil it! Let it be a surprise! Oh, the Oka Okas are done too. Wow, lots of, uh, lots of things to catch up on. After a while, we won't have to do so much of this maintenance, because we'll be set on money. But for now, I want to keep my slimes happy. Oh, I thought I missed one. Okay. Is there any upgrades to buy? No, there are not upgrades to buy. Okay, we can sleep. Oh, look at that view. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, let's purchase the weather vane. Let's look at it. Yes! Got the weather vane! Okay, we will, uh, we're not gonna buy any more of those upgrades yet because I need to unlock more areas before we go into the, uh, the overgrowth area. Or rather, the, uh, the moss blanket area. But that'll be for tomorrow. For today, let's just catch up on some chores. Why do we play games that have chores in them? Oh, wrong one. I love games that have chores. I don't much like doing chores. Okay, there's one extra cube berry. There's no extra heartbeats. There's no extra oka oka, and there's no obviously hungry slimes. So I think normal speed is good for seven Largos. It's because the chores take no physical energy. Yeah, that's true. And I think it, like, progresses faster in digital world than it does in the real world. So the next time, here's the plan. All right, here's the plan. We're gonna unlock the moss blanket. We're gonna get some of these guys. We're gonna get some of these guys. We're gonna combine them, and then we're gonna put them into the grotto. If I can unlock the grotto. Yes. And I'm not gonna show you guys this until the next one, but we're gonna do that, and we're gonna get some mint mangoes for the grotto. Because I think, uh, aesthetically, that'll look really cool. You're doing stuff just for the aesthetic? What kind of person are you? This isn't the functional Minecraft farmer ASDF that we grew to know and love. This is some kind of cutesy farming simulator ASDF that we've never seen before. Well, get used to it. I do like cute games like this. Especially because there's there's a lot of options for endgame stuff. 
that go beyond just like cutesy farming, you know? And then I'm planning on using this area and the docks for the slimes way far out. So, you think everyone's seen the game before? Yeah, probably. Uh, Mr. DF, your farm is only running at 87.32 efficiency. If you put... I love it. I love it so much. Oh, there's extra Oka Oka in here. It probably they probably just dropped it in there though, so I'm gonna leave it alone. Yeah, it just dropped in there. So they'll be able to eat that when they want to. I'll put it back. Then we can gauge how well it's doing. Okay, well that was another successful day. That was uh that was great. Here, I'm gonna stand up here. Can you think I can stand on my house? I bet we can. Yeah, you can totally stand on your house. Stand on the weather beam. I'm gonna save up up here on the on the roost. Oh no, I can't jump on there. That's doesn't seem like a good spot to save. If you can't jump, it means you're not on the ground. And if you're not on the ground, you probably shouldn't save because you never know what can happen. All right. Well, that does it for today's episode of Slime Rancher. Thank you guys for coming along with me on our farming journey with chores and adventure and exploration and cute slimes and all that stuff. If you're on YouTube, please consider liking and subscribing. It's one or two clicks for you. It really helps me out a ton. If you're on Twitch, thanks for being here. And as always, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one.